Hello everyone. Welcome to class 8 science videos of chapter 11. Force and pressure. In the previous video, we have learned about the pressure exerted by liquids and gases. In this video, we will discuss atmospheric pressure. That is the pressure exerted by the air around us. But what is atmosphere? We all know that air is all around us and this layer of gases that envelop a planet is called the atmosphere. The atmospheric air extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth. It is the earth's gravitational force that holds this layer of gases above the earth's surface. The pressure exerted by this air is known as the atmospheric pressure. We have already learned that pressure is the force acting on a unit area. That is, pressure equals force by area on which it acts. If we imagine a unit area and a long cylinder standing on it filled with air, then the force of gravity on the air in this cylinder is the atmospheric pressure. So, we can define atmospheric pressure as the force of gravity on air in a column of unit area. Do you have any idea about the strength of this atmospheric pressure? Is it large or small? Let us do an activity to check the strength of this pressure. You might have seen rubber suckers. They are usually used to hold objects together, right? They are used in our homes for making suction hooks to fix on walls, doors, almiras, etc. Here we have a rubber sucker. When we press it hard on a smooth surface, it will stick on the surface. How is it so? We didn't apply any adhesives on it, right? This is because of atmospheric pressure. Most of the air between the rubber sucker and the surface will escape when we press the sucker. And the air outside the sucker will exert pressure on it. That is the pressure of the atmosphere. Now. Try to pull it off the surface. We cannot do it with easiness. Why? To pull the sucker out of the surface, we have to apply a force large enough to overcome the atmospheric pressure. Imagine if there would be no air at all in between the sucker and the surface. Is it possible to pull the sucker off the surface? No. It is impossible. That much larger, the effect of atmospheric pressure. Now, you might have got an idea about the strength of the atmospheric pressure. We have already learned that the atmosphere exerts pressure on the surface of the earth as well as on the objects present on its surface. Similarly, the atmosphere exerts a force on our heads also. Imagine that the area of your head is 15 by 15 cm. Then the pressure exerted by air in a column of the height of the atmosphere on an area of 15 by 15 cm will be nearly equal to the force of gravity on an object of mass 225 kg. That is, 2250 Newton. You might be thinking that even after applying this much pressure, we are still alive and we are not crushed under this force? As we know, to overcome the atmospheric pressure, the force applied should be large enough. But we are not applying any force by ourselves, right? Then how is it possible? Yes. This is because, on Earth, the pressure inside our body is equal to the atmospheric pressure. 
the pressure inside our body presses outward as there is air pressure outside our body pushing inward. So it balances the pressure from the outside, meaning that there is no overall force on us. So we don't get crushed. Even when the internal and external pressures don't exactly cancel each other out, our skin, muscles and other tissues are usually strong enough and flexible enough to not be damaged by the air pressure. Now let us see some life situations where we can see the effect of atmospheric pressure. Can you tell me how a straw helps us to drink juices? When we suck the juice through the straw, the air pressure inside the straw decreases. But the air pressure on the surface of the liquid is equal to atmospheric pressure. This pressure on the liquid's surface pushes itself in an upward direction through the straw to the mouth. Thus, we can drink the juice. Now, can you explain the action of atmospheric pressure while loading a syringe? When we pull the piston, after placing the syringe in the liquid, the pressure inside the syringe reduces. Now, the increased atmospheric pressure on the liquid pushes itself up into the syringe and it gets loaded. So, let us conclude that atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted by the air around us and we can experience the effect of this pressure in various life situations. By this, we have come to the end of this chapter. Thank you students.